Congratulations to Andy Camden. You are the first winner of the Spider-Man Far From Home Hot Toy Giveaway. You have 48 hours to claim your prize, and if you could just direct message me on Twitter, that would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't win, rest assured we will be having more giveaways throughout the month of November and December to celebrate No Way Home. First though, I want to ask you guys in the comments down below what sort of prizes you would like to see, whether it be movie tickets or more figures. Again though, congratulations to the winner. You have 48 hours to claim your prize, and let's go ahead and get on with the video. The trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home made absolute waves across the internet just last night, as it's currently breaking trailer records. Unfortunately, we're unable to buy tickets for the movie at this time, however, this will change and we'll be able to buy tickets in around two weeks from now, so keep the 29th marked. Along with that, there's also a prominent rumor that we'll also be getting new footage on the 29th of November, and this is the rumored release date of the third trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, again though this is currently still just a rumor. However, today we have some interesting details that we would like to discuss concerning the No Way Home trailer and some editing mistakes that Sony made. Two very prominent and important editing mistakes, as well as debunking a major theory around Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's go ahead and start off with the biggest of the mistakes. There is a sequence in the trailer that briefly shows Spider-Man swinging around what appears to be a construction area that we've seen in various leaks. And although it appears as if Tom Holland's Spider-Man is the only one that directly appears in the No Way Home trailer, it appears as if Sony has actually made an editing mistake, and that either Andrew or Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is the Spider-Man that swings around this construction area during presumably the last battle with the Sinister Five. So why do we think this, and what evidence do we have to support this? Well, as you can see, the actual body of the character in Spider-Man swinging around does belong to Tom Holland, as you can see the gold tint. However, the mask is completely different. It happens simply far too quickly for us to determine exactly whether or not it's Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire swinging here, but it is certainly not the mask or the Spider-Man suit that we see throughout the No Way Home trailer that belongs to Tom Holland. So why does this mysterious figure have the body of Tom Holland's Spider-Man and the mask of either Tobey or Andrew? Well, it's actually not uncommon at all for characters to be completely reskinned for trailers, meaning presumably there's various points throughout the trailer where the Spider-Man man that we're seeing is not actually Tom Holland and although I think it's unlikely, it is possible. It was likely that this character in this 3D rendering was actually reskinned to be Tom Holland, but there was a minor mistake, and the mask remained Andrew or Toby, meaning the actual character that we'll be seeing in the movie will either be Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man or Toby's Spider-Man, and it's not actually Tom Holland swinging here, based again off of the mask, which is not Tom Holland's. In addition to this and other leaks, we actually can see an arm that presumably belongs to Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, in the scene where Zendaya's MJ is about to fall. If you look closely, it appears as if they're holding onto the railing and only a portion of the arm has been removed. We also know in the trailer that the two Spider-Men have been removed from the scene where they all run towards, or rather swing towards, the Sinister Six. So it makes sense that Sony may have made this minor editing mistake and have actually included one of the Spider-Men's arm, presumably Andrew Garfield's arm here. Two massive editing mistakes that indicate that both Toby and Andrew are of course in the movie, which is basically confirmed at this point in time, but that they were actually failed to be fully removed from the trailer itself. In addition to this, many people have speculated about another shot in the No Way Home trailer, that being of Green Goblin, with some people indicating that this could be Jacob Batalon as the Hobgoblin, or even Harry Osborn as the new Goblin as we saw in Spider-Man 3, played by James Franco. However, it was confirmed on Twitter by multiple sources that this is in fact the Green Goblin, again portrayed by Willem Dafoe, and that this is the sequence in the film where Willem Dafoe will be wearing a hood instead of his iconic mask that we see in the Raimi movie. And again, James Franco is not in the film, and Jacob Batalon, at least to our current knowledge, does not become the Hobgoblin just yet. But anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on these pretty big updates concerning Spider-Man No Way Home? What do you think about the two pretty big editing mistakes that we caught in the trailer? And how do you feel about it being debunked that this is not the new Goblin or the Hobgoblin, and is actually Willem Dafoe, again, being Norman Osborn? Again, congratulations to the winner of the first Hot Toy giveaway, and be sure to tell me in the comments down below what what other things you would like to see given away as prizes through the month of November as well as December leading up to No Way Home. There are more chances to win. Again, my friends, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.